Hi guys, AT Tech here, and uh, today I'm going to show you a video on how to play PSP games on your Windows PC. All right. So to begin, uh, the first thing that you need to do is find out if you're using a 32-bit or 64-bit uh, Windows. Uh, obviously, I'm window I'm using Windows 8 right now. So on your Windows 8, you go to Computer, right-click it, okay, and select or click properties now system information will appear and just look for the system type mine says 64-bit operating system now yours could be some maybe 32-bit or 64-bit um, so uh, you need that information because uh, we're going to install an application based on your operating system or based on the bit of your operating system all right so let me close this now second is we need to download the application uh, or emulator uh, which is called the PPSSPP um, and this is the website or the link I have uh, also provide the link under the description below so you can check that out later now once you are in once you're in this website, you just scroll it down and look for the uh, Windows uh, section. There you go. Now, the first button is for 32-bit. So if you're using a Windows 32-bit, uh, you, you need to, you know, run this or, you know, download this one. Okay? Download this zip file. Now, if you I'm using 64-bit, uh, I should be, you know, downloading this one. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to click this. And your download should automatically... Um, fire up okay now um, I already have that file here so just want to show it to you over here it's a zip file you um, what you do is right click it and open with Windows Explorer okay and after that uh, you just drag this out of the um, you know folder and drag it here on the desktop screen so it'll make a copy of it and it will automatically you know extract it once you're done just close everything out and here is your folder you just double click it and there is your application you do not need to install it no need to install the application you just run it directly here okay um, now to run it you have to remember this you right click it and then select run as administrator if you see a pop-up you select yes and it will automatically run your PSP emulator okay that's the splash screen right there and you just hit load here if you have a ready uh, ISO files it also accepts uh, CSO PBP and EL, ELF files okay so um, but at this point I don't have um, a ROM so I should be getting one okay so let me cancel this for now and minimize close that All right so I can I, I, I usually go here on this website um, you can also go here if you'd like uh, and there are many websites there that you can uh, get ROMs and you know so this is the uh, this is the link and I'll be also posting that on the description below and um, let me check which should I download here it's a lot Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Okay, let me download this one. It says the Cydia 012. Okay, doesn't work. Okay. there and there 
and there you go it's starting to download this is a direct download link so this will take a while because this is like 1.2 G or gigabyte GB um, so I already downloaded this one let me just open it here all right so after you have downloaded the file you just have to um, this is a RAR file by the way it's another compressed file uh, usually install 7-zip um, here's the link I'll install 7-zip or WinRAR it really depends on what you like and this one I've downloaded the 64-bit right there this one if you're using 32-bit you can download this one or this one alright so I have installed that already 7-zip so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click this and go to 7-zip and extract here alright so I have extracted the um, the folder I mean the file and I got this folder here so just double click that and the next thing that you need you're going to see is you're going to see a, a bunch of files the thing that you need to look for here is the RAR file again okay there are like R00, uh, R01 until R58 but here look for this RAR file so basically you can just right click it again and uh, go to uh, 7-zip and extract here okay, and wait until it is done okay so it, it is done now your file should be somewhere here this is the uh, disk image or the ISO file okay let me check if it's the ISO file right click it and properties and there you go ISO dot ISO so file name dot ISO okay this may not be clear but this is the dot ISO file Okay, this is the one that I got from all of these. So I'm going to close that now. So I got the uh, emulator, I got the ROM, and let's start to load that and start to play a game. Load desktop. Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, I need to use the keyboard now. Okay. See, it's working. It's fast. Ooh. On the game. Enter is like space bar. Uh,
All right, let's try this baby. You can run. You can jump. Oh, it hurts. You got me. Yay, I got him. Victory. All right, guys, that's the Siege of Final Fantasy running on PPSSPP. I'd like to acknowledge Mike M for his article in HowWeek.com. Thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe. If you like the video, please click thumbs up and uh, have a great tech day ahead. Bye now.